OK, so if you open the part boat cleat, there are two solid bodies here representing the core and the pattern. Um, we just kind of, you can see the transparency there, so if we want to knock off transparency, uh, just for information, if you kind of click on this little double arrow here, it expands that little pane. And over here, at the very top level, we can change the transparency of the whole, whole part, so if I kind of click on that, it goes off. If I click in there again, you can see you can turn the transparency back on again. So we'll leave it off for now and kind of minimize that back in. Um, so we've got our, our part here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to save these two separate solid bodies. So there's the, f the fillet 8, which you can kind of see highlighted in orange there is the, is the main part. That's going to be called the pattern. Yeah. And then very fillet 2, as it's called. You can see there highlighting the inside. That's the core. That's the bit that's going to be removed from the the final pattern if you like. Okay, so we know which one is which at this stage. Um, so to do this um, we go to insert features and you can see saved bodies. So we click on saved bodies. Um, see these are not really kind of descriptive to you so which which part is which again if you're in here if you click on the little plus goes. Um, so fill it eight, you can see oh, I cancel that. It's coming to save it already. You can see that's the top one in terms of magenta. And so that one's going to be called the pattern. So, so we're kind of sure this is the one we're looking for. And now if I kind of double click again and allow it to save this time and save it as a part. So you can see you're coming up with a standard part template. So we're going to save it as a standard part. We're not going to do anything weird or wonderful other than just save it out. So it's like creating a new drawing with all the nice bits and features and that already created. So if I kind of click OK to that, it's coming up with a name there. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call this one Pattern, isn't it? Let's check. Yeah. So save that as Pattern and click Save on that. And the second one then is going to be saved as Core. So um, I know this is it now. So if I kind of double click on that and click on the pattern this time and call this one core and save it on the desktop as well so we've saved both of them uh, so if I click the OK to that and uh, make sure consume cut bodies are, are is unchecked otherwise it'll all disappear from your screen so click OK on that and magically it creates a new feature down here called saved bodies and if I look in the background you'll see that we've created a pattern and a drawing of the of the core so we've got two of them and now you can see they're actually dependent on that sketch so you can see here there's not really much you can kind of do with that at that stage I mean you can kind of start to kind of do other stuff with it but as far as anything that's up to that point, you're kind of stuck with what what is in the other one. So if I kind of click on back and patterns, we've got pattern exactly the same. And boat cleat then is the actual two of them together. Okay. So that's the the two resulting bodies, if you like. So next thing then, just on this, just to finish this one off then really just to um, combine these again so clicking on the combine and main body is going to be on that bit and and that's my show a little preview of that so you can see it's kind of cut out there and accept ok and you can see it's removed that the little core from my pattern and you can save that so you can see that we've got our tree so we've got this uh, created and should we need the pattern and the core again we have them actually saved then out, um, as, as uh, separate parts okay